Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. So now we're going to carry on. You can see I've done a bit more tidying up. Made a few more um, compacting drawers so we can put some stuff in there. I've got coal in there as well. Anyway, next thing. Let's make some soul sand. So what we need to make is a soul campfire. So we need some soul sand for that. And you can make that fairly straightforwardly with some liquid mob souls which one bucket that's just two souls which have been cooked in in a high or low heat will give us 500 per, per mob soul so let's do that first of all um i should have two the the spawn is working reasonably well you see i even got my first ender pulse. so we just take two of these like that it doesn't kill all the mobs straight away we need to push them but we'll use that we'll use them um, some mob fans for pushing the mobs around. So what we want to do is to put two of these into here. So let's just right click this and should turn on my hotbar first of all. So we put two of these in here like that and then we can come to this and we can choose the recipe. So we'll stop this recipe. And then what we want to do is this one here. So let's run this. And what will happen is these will come into here to start with. Uh, and with one bucket, let's take one bucket out of here. As soon as they cook, they should, the fluid should come in here. If, it's, if there's an excess of fluid, you'll get these containers. Um, there we go. That's half a bucket, I think. How much do we need? One bucket should be done, done at any second now. There we go. So we've got one bucket's worth there. So let's just get that out. Let's come along here and put this. Oh, I need another jar for this. Don't tie. Um, no problem. We'll just make it. I think I've got a jar already prepared as it happens like this. So we need a jar and some cast iron. We can then do it like this. This is temp this has got no temperature on it. So let's put the jar down first of all. And let's put into the jar the fluid. Like that. And then we can connect these two together here like that. What else we needed was lava, wasn't it? No, sand. Sand. We need 16 sand. We shouldn't have a problem with sand. Let's take half of those and split that into two. And let's put that into this chest here. And then we can select the recipe we want to do. So this one we want to do now is this one to make some salt sand. It should be one of six. Oh yeah, that'll do fine. Okay, it says lose resources. All we're going to lose is water as it happens. If you, if you click no and you look along here, I've got, I haven't got enough gravel. I've got sand. Oh yes, that's right. Ah, maybe I made a mistake. Let's just cancel it anyway. And let's run. Oh, that worked. So let's run this one and say yes. And let's run this. We should get some soul sand. Great. We're getting some soul sand. 14, 15, 16. And I think I might have lost. I might have lost some sand. So let's just get another, another one out. Or two doesn't make much difference. How much have we got in there now? That well, that's empty. That's empty. And we got ten. And we got four sand. Um. Okay, that's fine. No problem. We only need one to make the campfire. So let's make the soul campfire. Um. So we should be able to just simply click this into position. So we now got the soul, um, the soul campfire. And we can then put this down somewhere else. We'll put it, let's put it in front of this by two blocks. So we have space, maybe three blocks. So we have space, bonfire lit. Okay, fantastic. So now we need another one of those jars. The idea, of course, is to make some diamonds, isn't it? Um, I need some, I've got some cast iron tubes here. That's fantastic. And I think we've got some more glass, tempered glass made up. So let's make a tempered glass jar so like this. Okay, and the next thing we need is we would like some diamonds and a chest. So let's got the chest. So we've got enough. We've got enough of everything that we need. So let's come along and do this. Right click that onto there. Now this is one screen. We can now put the diamonds into here, run it, select this recipe. In fact, this is also now better for lava because it goes a lot faster. I think, is it? Does it tell me how many seconds it takes for this one? No. So we have our first diamond now. Let's run that again. In fact, what would probably be sensible is to do is go and make another one of those automations. But I'll do that off camera because they're fairly straightforward. 
And we probably also need to make some more cast iron pipes. Now, we can actually make cast iron pipes now. So these should be going into the chest as well. If I did connect to the chest in, didn't I? So we should have four diamonds. So the next thing we're going to make is a diamond um, mesh. I think that's the last one, so look. Oh, that one's going up there, that's not very good. <laughs> I didn't I didn't put the chest on here today, so let's do that. I'm sure I've got some chests with me. I've been making loads of chests as it happens. Let's just do that. And then let's come up here and then put onto the pi on here the pipes. Didn't lose any diamonds, which is fine. Try again. Oops, I've pressed the shift when I jump up, can't I? Where did that go to? <laughs> Maybe it's difficult. Let's just put another chest down here and then do it that way. Oops. Where did that go down like that? Never mind, I'll just pick it up. Pickaxe we need. Well, then we can then put that on there. was another one. Where did I put the other one? So it went in a funny place as well. Good. So let's just put that back down here. So now when the, when the di when I put the diamonds in, we come out here. So now we're going to make our first diamond mission. And we're going to collect some requests as well, because I didn't do that at the end of last episode, which I should have done. So let's have a look. Diamond mesh. Uh, I need to feed the beast utilities. Feed the beast. The diamond mesh is this one. So we can make our first diamond mesh, which is great, because that allows us to basically almost get double the amounts of things. Oh, I made another sieve and put it here. Um, and in this chest here, I've got I've basically been sieving with a cloche mesh to get seeds and a dirt mesh to get um, an iron mesh to get trees. It's as simple as that. I don't even think it's worth showing that to be done. So we now can put the, the diamond mesh into here, and then we can start to... Well, I moved the hopper down here so I could actually have a bit more control. So let's take some uh, gravel out of here. And put that into the hopper. Okay, I've taken too much out. This is already filled up because this this continues to make it. And you can see on the output here, it's got 2,143 so what we can also do is probably make some more sand. I th yeah, I reckon sand's what we need. So let's put the, the gravel into here. And then put let's put a cobblestone into here and that'll also turn into sand. And we've got one more diamond left. So we'll put the diamond safely away. <laughs> okay, and then we should... And then this should start to produce a lot more stuff. I completely emptied this chest out before I started doing this. So as you can see, it's been fairly fast. We've got quite a reasonable amount of stuff. Oh, that's gravel. I think I want to use sand. Yeah, I need to use sand for gold, don't I? So let's have a look at the use of this. That's prismarine shard. That's Prosperity shard, in, yeah, prosperity shards is what I was looking for, and gold. You don't get gold from doing gravel. You get diamonds from doing gravel. So, but the but the rate for these now is doubled. We've almost no, it's not. It's four percent, as opposed to three percent. So we should get more diamonds coming out into here. So we've got our first emerald chunk already. So that's good. I'll let that run. So now we've completed that thing. Let's go and have a look at the quest. So we did the the wooden spikes, which gives us a random reward. An energized energizing rod starter. Not quite know what that's for yet. We'll find out. We've done this, we've got the iron one, so we've made that we get a prudentium furnace. Actually that's quite nice. Um makes life it, it reduces the amount of stuff that we use to cook. Oops, and it also makes things go faster, so we are. 
but I'm not going to use it until I can make that one. And what was the other one I got? The energizing rod. So look at what, we, what else we've got in the quests here. So that was done on this page. Let's go back here. We've done some integrated dynamics. Oh yes, I got the mer mer mineral tree sapling, and basically that's. And I got an ether an ethereal slate from that one. So that's for blood magic. Put that in there. Next one. The recipe for this, this was actually really straightforward. It was just a chance. I think it's from doing the, getting the seeds and you get this, that. and then you get a crystallized mineral, which is the next thing to do. We have to plant the tree. I've actually planted the tree, so we should be getting some of that anyway. So let's go back out of here and have a look what else we've got storage. Well, of course we did storage drawers. So we've got a random reward for that. A bronze leggings, we can keep that one actually. And then another random reward for doing the compacting drawers. Nature seeds. Oh, that's actually a really good one. I'm not going to do it because it's too good. Because these are really quite hard to get, nature seeds. Let's have a look at the recipe for this one. So nature seeds, you need prudentium essence. That's not a big deal. Because, and a prosperity base seed. Now, this is actually hard. The reason it's hard is seeds are hard. We need a seed. And we need wheat for that. So what we have to do for this is probably mana infusion for the cocoa beans. Once you've got a seed, then you can put it into a, a hopper pot with some pod soil, enchanted soil, golden, all of these different ones. And then that will carry on. So that's why I'm not doing this, because we haven't got as far as doing uh, an alchemy catalyst or a, a mana pool. So we need to do that before we can get the wheat seed and therefore we can, before we get any prosperity. Somehow I managed to get that last, when I was doing some testing on a previous version of the pack, I got that quite nicely. So I'll put the... But we can actually put the bronze leggings on. I don't need them as it happens. <laughs> well, this looks interesting, doesn't it? So let's look at, have we got any more quests? No, all the quests are done now, so that's good. So let's go and have a look at the next thing I'd like to do. So if you go back to storage, let's go and have a look at the quests again. Storage, I would like to make a draw controller. And the recipe for that is always redstone comparator. So we need some... Certis Quartz, or Pure. Well, we're not going to get that one, but get Certis Quartz. So we can get that from, of course, Essence. Then so we can get this from a tempered one with using a, a Quartz Crystal. Or we can sluice it. Uh, okay, but we, we have to do it the other way. They have to use this Quartz Crystal stuff. So we have to get Quartz Chunks. And so they're done through a Diamond uh, Sieve on Lava. So it makes sense, possibly, to make an, another... Um, sluice because they're not expensive so let's make another sluice get the wooden one first of all and then we'll use that one to make the iron sluice because that's the one that uses less least fuel so we'll do that one and we're actually there's only what two ingots and a, and a chain it's not exactly very much to do this only three ingots so with this one we can put this down and get some lava so if we do that over here Yeah, this will be a good place to do it. Because I can put this down here and then I can put another glass jar and then we can get some lava. You can break glass jars without any problem. So let's just break the glass jar, but you, it loses its contents. So it's got it's a good idea to make sure it's empty before we break this. So let's just break this. Like that, like that. And then we can put this glass jar, well, first of all, put the pipe on this one here, like this. And then we can put the glass jar on this on this one here. So and then we can fill it up with some lava, like some cobblestone. We just need cobblestone for that. And there's no shortage of cobblestone, as you may have realised. So we can then simply put into this chest cobblestone. Oh, I do need to make the automation before I do that. Then time. Tell you what, I'll do that. I come back in a second. I didn't take too long as it happens. Let's break this one in the middle, and we just have to put this one on. The automation on here so that should do and then that will be automated so what we then need to do pick up that pipe is to put some cobblestone into this i have 16 i've already got 16 in there so then we just need to run it so we just want to say we want cobblestone like that blue heat will make lava and it makes it fairly quickly as you can see so with that we can then come along here and sluice what we have to sluice i um, need a sieve 
a mesh for that, don't we? I think. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the uses of the art. Use of the iron sieve and sit and have a look on that one. So I need to use lava. So we need a gold mesh. We'll produce netherrack and debris scraps. Not the one I want, I don't think. I need this one. So we need crushed netherrack. And that will produce blaze powder, solium dust, and some quartz chunks at 14%. Have we got. Absolutely, we need some crushed netherrack. So netherrack, how do we make netherrack? We can make this in here. So we need some redstone and some lava. We'll produce 16 of those. Okay, that shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. We, we've got some redstone already, I think. We've got 16 here. And some lava. So let's get that put into, let's put this redstone into here like this. And get some lava out of here. We've got three buckets, so we can take three buckets of lava. Should really make a fourth bucket, shouldn't I? And then we can put the lava into one of these. Let's move the stick out of the way in like this. And then we should be able to make, if we select this, we should then be able to stop this one. And we should be able to make some, yeah, netherrack. So yes, I'm sorry, I'm going to lose something, probably stand again and run that one. How much does it need? One bucket per per item. <laughs> and we've got 16 already, so that's done. So we can actually, we can put some more uh, redstone in there. If I've got some more redstone chunks, I'm not sure that we've got that much. No, I'm sieving the wrong thing to get so I need to start sieving sand. So what we need to do now is to crush these. So let's put these into here. Another rack. We can put another rack into that. Should automatically get crushed like that. And we should get some crushed another rack coming out of here like that. At the moment, this is processing gravel to make sand, and I don't think it can process this. I don't think that you can crush it again, so it won't go in to the next crusher. Anyway, it should be. It shouldn't take too long to do this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll show you this and with a bit of luck next time we'll be able to do. We won't have a problem with this. Let's have a look. 16. I've got to worry about this a little bit here because what will happen is 52. That's probably too many. I probably need yeah 25. There's 27 slots in there. So that's probably OK. So we should have some cushion in the right now. 16 as you see and then we can put that through this sluice with some lava in it so let's put the lava into here first so we can get actually 12 bucks of lava in there so let's keep going until we've got this little eight so we should be able to get this into here no problem so all of those will go into that and then all we need to do of course is to put either a hopper on it or we can just put the 16 in manually i think we'll put a hopper on there we'll put a chest at the end because it clicks a bit so we don't worry about it but I, you know, I didn't know about this, but now I've got three sluices. Funny, isn't it? So that's what we do need is a mesh. And I think the gold mesh would be fine. Let's have a quick look. Maybe the diamond mesh might be better. Um, where's the gold mesh? I've got the gold mesh here with me now. So let's have a look at the uses of this one. Um, so another, we need another rack don't we this one here will give us this and if i use a diamond mesh let's look at the use of that one and sluicing will give a better so we actually get with a diamond mesh oh much higher chances of what i actually want because <laughs> i want glowstone and i want um, blaze powder and we want sodium dust and quartz crystals that's mostly the important ones we'll get the so we'll take the um, diamond mesh out of the other one and put the gold mesh back For the time being, oops, yeah, I want the gold mesh in here, so time mesh in here. So we just need another hopper. I'll be back with this hopper. And be, yeah, I'll come back in a second with the hopper. So you can actually, if you highlight this bit, you can put it on top. But in this particular case, I want to put the hopper on the side like that. So we'll put the uh, nether rack in, the crush nether rack into that. And that's going to sieve this up. 
and we should have enough lava to do these 16. I think it's about, it tells you actually, let's have a look. If you look on here, 6.8 buckets. So it's using 0.6 buckets per lava. So we, uh, per, per crushed netherite. So look what we've got in here. We've, so we've got one glow stone, it's good. Sodium dust, what we're looking for is four quartz. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I shall go and be busy getting some sand done and I'll be back in a short while when we've got four quartz. Well, I'm just about finished. I should just finish uh, sieving. We've got nine crusher, um, quartz, which is great. So let's go and take those and process these. So what we need to do with these is probably put them through the squeezer again, I guess. So look at the uses of quartz clusters. The, this probably is the best one, the mechanized squeezer, but the squeezer itself will give two plus a chance of, of another one. So let's do this. We need jump up on here so you can jump up in here until you see the grass oh, you see the grass at the bottom on the last corner then it's done and you can just jump off Put the next one in so with a bit of luck we should get five there we are and we got six fantastic even better so we've got six nether quartz which means we can now start to make um the next thing i wanted to make which was as we needed it was the Storage drawers controller, wasn't it? So let's have a look at the storage drawers controller because I can't see it at the moment. Storage drawer controller is this one. So we need, we've got the diamond, we've got a chest, we just basically need two of these. So we need some redstone torches. We need six. Oops, let's try it again. And then we needed, where's it gone to? The reason I want to make the res this one is because it's uh, fairly cheap as it happens. We need two of these, that's right. So we can then be able to do it's good automation and stuff. So now we've got a drawer controller and we also get a quest re a reward done from that. And what I'd like to do is just to put this here. So let's just break this chest here. It probably, oh, it's broken already, gosh. Didn't repair it. Yeah, I thought that might happen. <laughs> Let's put this in here like this. Okay, and then we can put the draw controller here. And that then should take everything that comes out of here and put it into, um, not into here, but into the into the storage network. And anything that I've got, I've got a few slots here free, but this is, we can lock this up, but for the time being, we won't bother. We'll come along here, we'll take out the mesh again. Um, if you can shift right click it to get the mesh out nope just put sand torch <laughs> maybe because that's in my offhand but let's remove that off my offhand here and just try that again yeah you can do it with it when it's not in your offhand then we can put this back in here and then we can take some more dust for example i've got three here i've got some cr more crushed netherite um dust is not bad let's just take some of this sand out of here put it in here to make some more dust and then we can put the dust into this chest here and that should get fed through. I'm just not sure it's going to happen. We'll soon, soon find out. As soon as we get some stuff, the first three slot is here. <laughs> and then the next one's over there. So everything then is getting automatically put into the network, which is great. And what I would normally do is I'd lock these up and put a, an output pipe here on, this, on the last one. And then that would then feed into just an ordinary chest for everything that's not doesn't really belong here. So let's go and have a look at this quest we've just done. We've just completed the draw controller, and we get a random reward of we get a gold jet plat. Oh, that's not bad either. We'll put that away. We probably can make gold jet plats. So look at the uses of this uh, the recipe for it. Block of redstone, not a difficult one, and these gold. So basically, that's what we, need. we just need some blaze powder. We've got some of that, and we need four blaze powder. I think that's got enough of that, so we would actually be able to use this one. We don't need it just yet. And probably when we go to another, we've got four blaze powder here. We've got some more bits and pieces, which is great. In fact, as it happens, what you can do when you're look, not looking at something, you press K in a chunk, and that automatically compresses that to the to clusters and then we can put this cluster back in here like this at the moment we've got the gem mask in here because i was doing some emeralds 
Let's just swap that out. Like that. And then we see I've got some 22 emeralds now. I've got three diamonds. I've actually got four diamonds. Up. Oh, and I've just used one up, haven't I? Let's put that into here like this. Um, <clears throat> with that, we could actually automate. Let's have a look at the use of, of this. If we actually have a look at one of the recipes, too many recipes there. Let's have a look at this recipe here for the diamond one. It's three diamonds around an iron sluice will give a diamond sluice and that automates fluid as well which we can use with an accumulus an aqueous accumulator to do that one so that's that so we've nearly finished the episode but let's let's have a look at the next way to get these redstone clusters the use of the redstone cluster we can uh, make into redstone just like this or we can use a squeezer which gives us a chance of getting 12 Actually, not a bad chance of getting 12 as it happens. But the better one is this, the mechanical squeeze, which you'll definitely get 12 and a chance of another two. So now the recipe for this mechanical squeezer is to use one diamond and these two energy batteries. So the energy batteries are made out of chunk of redstone plus these crystalline uh, blocks of crystallized men mineral. And that's basically a block of just nine crystallized mineral chunks. And to get those... The recipe for this, the only way you can do it, is that I, well, the, the early game is to chop down mineral trees. Now you can't get it from here. So I've got a popper pot here with stuff in, and I've actually got these 16. The reason I've got these 16 is not because I've been doing this, I've been chopping down the trees. So let's just chop down the trees. I'll go and repair my tools and be back in a second. So before we actually chop down these trees, let's use these bamboos. And we're going to make... Um, just I think it's like this, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, we're going to make a few um, scaffolding. So we just need some string, and there should be some string in here. I think that's the recipe, yes it is, we got 12. Um, which will be fine, for, actually got 24. So that'll be fine for what we want. Let's go and put these down here and chop up these trees. So if you look in here, there's some of the bar, if I start at the top, where I'd have been doing this, so I start at the top, oops, press go. I want to hold down the grab and you'll see it's it's going to chop down this amount of wood so this particular wood here is the only one with some uh, mineral crystals in it if we can see it there it is and that will then give us a mineral crystal like that so that's quite a challenge and the next one we'll put this one tree back down again we've got two saplings which is great you cut these don't grow by themselves if they do it takes a very long time so it's best to twerk just press shift until it, it till it grows up again like that and in fact this one you can see has got a mineral chunk there so we can break this one down first of all like this and then we can go and do the top ones and then that should allow this tree to these to, to, or leaves to fail as it were we'll do this one at the same time over here and this one has as you can see has got one block here so we have to do this is why we need the scaffolding go up a bit and we need to drop that one off and then we can get rid of this one here oh with an axe of course and then we've got another one at the top here it's, i don't need to hold the button down for doing that one of course so that wasn't too bad so, and then we can just actually the easiest way to do these is just break them at the bottom like that and then of course we're getting wooden berries and we get the odd mineral chunk uh mineral chunk chunk as you can see so what I'll do is I'll put this one diagonally from this one. So I've put, oh, got six saplings that time. Because it'll grow out like this and you lose a chance of getting some wood. So let's put this one up here. So we need to go up here to get this one. So I just put the scaffolding down in the middle here, as you can see. And then we go up and do that one and get repeat this until we've done enough of these things. So that's what I'm going to be doing between episodes. That, that particular one, I only got one. Probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Pick up the bits, break it down, break this down again, and then plant the next sapling. And I'd give, rinse and repeat that until we've got enough to do the next uh, of those things. And if you put them in the middle like that, you can do both trees at once. Okay. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.